Okay, this is gonna be the final episode of my documentary series, because it's almost September, and, and, um, um, I just want to, uh, make this final episode of, 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 of my documentary series. The reason why I'm ending my documentary series is because I want to upload more stuff like more Teletubbies videos, uh, PBS Kids videos, and, and other videos I want to do. And other videos I wanted to upload that I didn't, that I, that I want to upload more. So that's why I'm ending my documentary series. So, yeah. So, yeah. So welcome to, to the final episode of... Of my documentary series, which is the Every Cup of Marker DDS review, and today this is the last part, unfortunately, and we're gonna talk about the Lightning Cup. So, yeah, so yeah, we're gonna talk about the Lightning Cup. So yeah, so yeah, so, yeah. So, anyways, let's get started. So first up, we have. So, oh wait, before, before I begin the last part and the final episode, I want to say, um, I, there are some Mario Kart tracks in this Lightning Cup that I don't remember that much, again, with that word, with that, with that, with that sentence, but, but I will, but I know some of them, like, two of them I know, but some of them, but the, the other two I don't know. I don't remember, so yeah. So, yeah. So, uh, so let's get started with the final episode of my documentary series, which is every cup of Mark RDS reviewed, uh, lightning cup part. So, yeah. So now we're gonna talk about the lightning cup, and which is the last Mario Kart DS retro cup, and the very last Mario Kart DS cup they ever made. So, yeah. So, anyways, let's get started. So, yeah. So, first up we have is... Oh, this one. Um, this one is Choco Island 2 from SNES. I don't know about this one because I never watched this. I never watched this, this track for a long time. And I never watched it since I was little. Since I first remember watching this, I think back around... Um, I think back around 2017 or or 18 or 2018 or 2019, I'm not sure. I don't remember. So yeah. So um so yeah, Choco Island 2. It's a it's a chocolate themed themed uh Mario Kart track. Which is the which is the first Mario Kart which is the first Mario chocolate themed Mario Kart track they ever made. So yeah, so yeah, so so yeah. I know about I know so much about this track, but not really though. But I know some details. So yeah, um, the race starts when you go like to this S curve, S path, and then you go to a narrow path with uh with some piranha plants and stuff that 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 look tore up, and yeah, and there's some bumps. Bumps in the Choco Mount in the Choco Island, they're like uh, they look like the bumps look like pyramids of gold, not pyramids of gold, but rectangular, uh, three D modeled modeled gold and stuff, just like they used in the banks and stuff, and yeah, and then you go to this mud pile, this chocolate mud pile, which is really which makes it slow. To get through, and yeah, then you turn to the right, I guess, and then the race ends there. And yeah, um, what I don't like about this track was, um, wait, hold on, um, um, I think uh, the track of the song, the track was good in my opinion because it was a good track. I like chocolate. The the track, the track, the Choco Island Two. For SNES was good in my opinion because I like chocolate. I like chocolate and stuff, like Hershey's chocolate, <laughs> and yeah, and um, and uh, there, 
and and what I don't like about the background, um, what I don't like, what I don't like from Choco Island 2 was the background. I don't like the background. I hate the background. So, yeah. So, yeah. Um, um, and the song, the song was good. The song was, was good, in my opinion. And, and yeah. Uh, the best part about this track was the... Was like the, was like the, was like the part where, was like, 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 the best part of it, of it was the chocolate mud, the chocolate mud part. I like it, but sometimes it, but sometimes it makes you slow. So yeah. And the, be and the worst part of, of this track was the background. I hate the background so much. So yeah. So Choco Island 2 for SNES was good in my opinion. So yeah, Choco Island 2 for wait, hold on. Okay. I don't know who the hell that guy is. Okay, so Choco Island 2 for 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 SNES was good in my opinion. So yeah. So yeah, Chocolate Island 2 for SNES was good in my opinion. Aw oh, jeez, this one. Like, oh no, this one. Uh this one is Benshi Vorwak from from Nintendo 64. Aw oh, jeez, this one. I hate this one though. I hate this track. Um because that track was too, way too scary in my opinion, because Cause I don't have I don't know about that much about this track, but I might as well tell you some details. Uh, the details was like uh, if there it like the track the track the track the track is like you like you like you like race on a bridge and stuff with no ridges. Sometimes it does not have ridges and stuff. So yeah. And yeah, and there's this part with the big fish, big fish that jumps over you when you race toward. Yeah, I think that's called a bubba. Yeah, a bubba. That's the that's the name of the fish that goes up, that goes, that goes, that jumps up, and then it goes back to the water, and it jumps back to the water. And yeah, I like the DS one because. The DS one with the Baba fish just scary, just scary in my opinion. But in the but in the original version, it's not that scary. But yeah, yeah. And then then there was this cave with no roof, and yeah, and you have to avoid those bats that are flying by you, flying toward you. There are actually two bat two rows of bats and yeah I had to go go left then right then exit out of that that uh, cave I guess and you guys don't know there was there was a really bad shortcut with a with a broken floor that lends you leads you to the water and yeah you guys don't notice that and uh yeah and yeah and yeah I have nothing to say about the shark because in my opinion, the track was too scary, in my opinion. I don't think I have a best part for this track. So, yeah. So, Benji Boardwalk for... For Nintendo 64 was just... No, that was a bad track, in my opinion. Bad track, in my opinion. Especially the DS one. Because the DS... DS one from... The DS one was really bad, in my opinion. So, yeah. Benji Borwalk for Nintendo 64 was completely bad in my opinion. So yeah. Bad. Uh this one. Uh next is Sky Garden from GBA. I like the name of it because because I like the name Sky because I like that word. Sky. S-K-I Sky. Which is which is also a girl's name. S K Y E, but sometimes you can't hear the E. So yeah. 
Yeah, Sky Garden. So yeah, Sky Garden was 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 Sky Garden is a a sky themed sky themed track with clouds as the path, but not clouds unfortunately because clouds you can't drive in clouds apparently. Yeah, there was a stone path that's under the clouds and yeah. And yeah. And there's like there's like a green bridge with a there's a green net bridge. There's a green net that's that's for a bridge. And yeah, there's actually two of them. And yeah, and there's like vines in the background and I and I like that. Oh wow. Uh the background, uh the background. The background was nice in my opinion because I like the blue sky. I like it how it looks and yeah. And did you know there was an air blimp? in the sky, and yeah, if you guys have noticed that. And yeah, Sky Garden, um, and yeah. And there was this hard shortcut when you like, jump, jump over the other path, and yeah, without falling off, and yeah, that's like the hard, hard, hard part. And yeah, um, yeah, and yeah, I like the music music of Sky Garden. The music was absolutely good in my opinion. Yeah. It rem the the music reminded me of of uh the music reminded me of of uh the music reminded me of Leaf Frog Frog song uh a little bit, but not really though. I think it was a leaf frog, uh, learning book, I guess. It, it reminds me that, it reminds me that, uh, it re that the music of, of this, of, of this track remind me of that a little bit. And, yeah, I like the music. I think the best part was the music and the background, because I like, I like how it looks and stuff, and, yeah, and I like the music, too. I don't have a worse part of it, because... There's nothing worse of this track. So, yeah. So, Sky Garden for GBA was absolutely good, in my opinion. I mean, great. It was absolutely great, in my opinion. I like this track. I like this track. I like this track. I like this track. It's way better than the other GBA tracks. I like Sky Garden the most. So, yeah. Sky Garden for GBA was absolutely great, in my opinion. So, yeah. Best... GBA track, in my opinion, so far. So, yeah. So, yeah, Sky Garden is great. It's absolutely great, in my opinion. So, yeah. Ah, uh, yes, this one. Uh, this one is Yoshi Circuit for Mario Kart Double Dash. Yes, I like this one. And, yeah. Yes, it had the same thing. It had the same Yoshi Island the themed, and, yeah. But... It made some changes, like the bridge, the first part of the, of the, of the Yoshi circuit doesn't have fingers, like when, when he, when he puts his hand like this, he doesn't have any fingers, like what the hell, why did you cut off Yoshi's fingers, <laughs> oh my god, and then, yeah, it's definitely nice in my opinion, because, because we don't, because the fingers look kind of creepy in the marker double dash version. But I actually liked it though. And there's this another tunnel, which is the same thing as the marker double dash one. And yeah, and and then when you try, when you like, and yeah, when you drive to the to the bump part where Yoshi's Yoshi's red shell, then that's on this. That's on his, uh, back and stuff. Yeah, we don't actually see the flowers. Because there are flowers in the Mark Card Double Dash version, but they removed it. Yeah, they removed the flowers part. And it made it easier in the DS version. And yeah. And yeah. And we don't actually see the plane, the plane and stuff that's up in the sky. And we don't actually see the boats and stuff. And who's calling me now? Grammy's calling. My Grammy's calling me. For
for my protection, for my protection, guys, I don't want to sh show you guys my underwear. So, yeah. I'll be right back. Hi, I am back, and, and yeah, yeah, that was my Grammy on the phone, so yeah, I had to better make this, I had to end this quick, so yeah, so yeah, we'll actually, um, now let's continue with Yoshi Circuit for Marco Dub Dash, uh, Yoshi Circuit, uh, yeah, it had the same, and yes, and the music, it had the same music, had the same music as a Mario Kart Double Dash, but it's in a DS file a little bit. It's the same thing as Luigi Circuit, and yeah, and yeah, and yeah, um, so yeah, um, the best part about this track was, the best part about this track was, was the view and stuff, and I like the tunnel, where you go in like the tunnel and stuff, yeah, I think that's my best, I think that's my best part. I think the worst part of this track was, um, the worst part of this track was the, the, the part where Yoshi's fingers cut off. <laughs> yeah, that, I think that's the only worst part I have right now. <laughs> oh my god. So Yoshi's Circuit for, for Mario Kart Double Dash was good in my opinion. I prefer... Yoshi circuit than Luigi circuit because I like this circuit better. So uh, yeah. So yeah, Yoshi circuit for for Marker Dub Dash was good in my opinion. Even though even though it was this is way better than M Luigi circuit in my opinion, but I do respect your opinion if you like Luigi circuit better than Yoshi circuit. So yeah. And I want to I want to know which is your favorite Mario what is your favorite retro cir circuit for Mario Kart Double Dash from the Nintendo e DS? Luigi Circuit or Mar or Yoshi Circuit? Please leave in the comment below if you guys have an answer. So yeah. Okay, that was it for Lu Lightning Cup. Now it's time for my opinion on Lightning Cup. So in my opinion of the Lightning Cup was absolutely good in my opinion because it's actually. It's actually good in my opinion. So yeah. Good as heck in my opinion. So yeah, Lightning Cup. Because it had the best tracks in my opinion. Except Ben Benshi Boardwalk. I hate Benshi Boardwalk. So yeah, Lightning Cup was actually good in my opinion. So yeah. Okay. Before I end this, I want to I want to rank my my every cup from Mario Kart DS reviewed. Let's first rank my, let's rank, first rank the Retro track. Let's first rank the, 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 more, the Nitro Cup tracks. Nitro Cups. Um, for first place in my opinion was, 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 uh, was, was Flower Cup. Because I love Flower Cup that much because I like Waluigi Pinball, which is one of the best Mario Kart DS tracks of all time. And yeah, that's why I put put a first place on on Flower Cup. Second for second place is Star Cup because I like Star Cup a lot. Star Cup I like DK Pass and because it had some kind of some kind of cool music. Yeah, yeah, I have I feel like I wanna dance to. And yeah, a third, uh, third place, and third place is, uh, third place is Mushroom Cup because 
Mushroom Cup is okay in my opinion. It's not really as good as much, but but it's okay in my opinion. So yeah. And for fourth place is Special Cup, which I don't like the Special Cup a lot, so I don't want to talk about that right now. So yeah. And now it's time for time to rank the Nitro Cups. So for first place, in my opinion, was was absolutely the Leaf Cup. I love the Leaf Cup because because they have Mushroom Bridge and stuff, and yeah. It, my childhood Mario Kart track came back in my opinion. So yeah, for second place is is Banana Cup because it ha it also it also had my second childhood favorite Mario Kart track, which is Baby Park. I like that, and I love that. And yeah, for third place is is Lightning Cup because Lightning Cup is really really good in my opinion because I like all, all I like those three tracks uh Choke Island 2 Sky Garden and Yoshi Circuit but except Benshi Boardwalk I I hate Benshi Boardwalk and for fourth place is Shell Cup I don't like Shell Cup a lot because some of the tracks were 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 really too weird in my opinion so that's why I put it in fourth place so yeah well that's the end. That's the end of my every cup from Marco DS reviewed and the final episode of my documentary series. So yeah. So I'll see you guys later for 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 the next for for the next video that I'm, that I'm going to be doing. And yeah. So I hope you guys stay tuned for that. Now, now I have to uh now I have to uh, now I have to change my pants. Now I have to, now I have to get the mail now. Oh, by the way, make sure you subscribe and, and be on the lookout for more new videos from me. So, see ya. Do, 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 do.